Hey, welcome back guys. It's Kareem here. So today we're going to be talking about mistakes I made when I first started taking social media seriously. I mean, and these mistakes are really easy to fall victim to. So, you know, I think, I, I don't know if everybody makes them, but I definitely did. So here we go. Like one of the first mistakes I made was I didn't even know, like putting hashtags on um Instagram posts and things like that. And so I wasn't even doing that at first, you know what I mean? Like, I think that's pretty easy to overlook, like tags and things like that. I don't know how a lot of people start channels and they seem to get all of this stuff. Like, I don't know, maybe I should like operate from a checklist or something like that. But like, yeah, that was when I finally realized I was like, oh man, I'm not even tagging this thing anywhere for any reason. How the heck are people going to find this thing? Okay, mistake number two I made was that I didn't have a clear-cut plan on what I wanted to do. I kind of like had a vague idea. It's like, you know, I'm starting it so I could get inbound leads. It's like, oh, I want to be able to get X amount of leads per week. Or, oh, I wanted to get X amount of following by the end of the year or whatever. But I didn't really have a clear-cut action plan. And one of the big things that's necessary especially in any endeavor really is to have a clear-cut plan like where you want to go what your action steps are going to be like what you're supposed to do and then from there even you break it down so one of the first things that i did was um not too long ago i actually got a book on the subject um so we can get the camera to focus here instagram rules the essential guide to building brands business and community by um jody cook like this is a really good book i'm currently reading this one and so she actually has a bunch of action steps in there that make it like really easy. You know, of course, like suggestions and things like that. And here she actually goes into breaking down long term, medium term and short term. So a short term goal might be, let's say, for instance, um, like in the next 30 days, like in the following month, um, a medium term goal would be. Like, let's say within the next year and a long term goal would be even longer than that, a year plus it would take. And of course, you know, you check in quarterly to see if you're hitting your goals. You know, now she does have a pretty comprehensive way of, you know, like an idea here, like a 30 day goal may just be to post every day or it might be to post 50 times on each social media, on one particular social media, on, you know, let's say Instagram for the next 30 days, you get a post. 50 pieces of content, unique content, you know what I mean? So that was definitely a mistake that I made. I didn't really have a clear-cut plan. Um, another thing that goes into that is actually having a plan to actually get, like, organic growth as opposed to simply jumping out the gate with paid growth, paid traffic. You know, like, small businesses, is like, they tend to fall for that trap entirely. It's like they don't want to spend a penny on social media and so they want to get to like a hundred thousand followers god help us all by just posting spam all day essentially like if you go look at like a lot of small businesses these guys they tend to post things like just advertisement after advertisement after advertisement after advertisement after advertisement all day every day but i mean heck they'd get a bigger following if they at least did it all day every day no these guys do it like they might have posted yesterday and to yesterday was January 13th. And then before that, they might have posted at the beginning of November. And before that, they might have posted like last July. You know, that is one of those things I, I managed to not make was um being inconsistent. Once I actually decided to take this thing seriously, by seriously, I mean every single day is a grind. Have that action plan and ready to go. Mistake number three, not actually figuring out how to grow organically. So Gary Vee has this thing called the $1.80 method, and it's a consistent way to get eyeballs, essentially. And so what you do is that you post in 90 different, different brands, different people's large and small um, posts. Like you would just go ahead and leave a comment and like on people's posts on Instagram. And you would do that 90 times a day. And that 90 times a day, you'd leave your two cent, right? So that's a dollar eighty. 90 times a day times your two cent, you're leaving. So, you know, so 
He's like, first thing you do is you put 10 hashtags and then you just go out there and you post nine comments, like, et cetera, et cetera, for each comment. And this is something I'm actually utilizing myself now. Um, jumping into paid ads is one of those things we can definitely do, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Let's go ahead and be able to show and have living proof. Hey, it's like I went from zero, like just starting my Instagram. Like I already had the account, but I had a different name. So, you know, I actually decided to just up and now start using it for my own personal brand. But yeah, it's one of those things. So now I actually do have this thing um, up and running. And I'm trying to start off with, I want to say like 12 pieces of content and then really start going ham, you know, because you want to be able for people to binge watch your content once they finally roll around to landing on your, um, your channel, your, um, grid, if you will, on Instagram. Also YouTube, the same thing. I don't know if the dollar 80 method is really one of those things that's suggested for use on YouTube, but you know, I'll give it a shot, you know, if I got to lose. The thing is, it is a little bit time consuming because you got to sit there and, you know, you can just write down your 10 hashtags or whatever and then just go through it. But yeah, dollar eighty method. Um, go check it out, guys. Yeah, that's just three mistakes. You know, um, a common mistake I'm going to say that small business owners I see make, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, is basically just spamming the same thing over and over and over again. These guys, they will just sit here and post nothing but marketing 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 um just buy our stuff 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 they're not building a community they're not responding to any comments to just buy our stuff buy our stuff they've got like they've been in business for five years they only have like two a following of 200 people and these are the same people to turn around and tell you it's like oh i have no idea why social media isn't growing for the past five years even though all we do is post hey come buy our stuff Come on, guys, we got to do better than that. We can be more creative than that. You know, of course, you know, this is why I come in and I do have a social media management package. So, you know, it's one of those things where as a small business owner, you would want to delegate it just because you could actually get it out the way and you would have a good way to get the ball rolling, you know. And, yeah, it will eventually lead to inbound leads, you know. It's one of those things, but you do have to take it seriously. Um Everybody knows this, like how you build your brands in the current day and age. It's not by buying a bunch of TV advertisements. It's not by putting up billboards or being on the radio. The biggest ROI thing you could do is create content for social media. Do it consistent with a target demographic, your audience. So let's say you're in... um. Uh, you're a contractor, a general contractor. That might be homeowners, right? You want to make sure that you get eyeballs in front of homeowners. So you might want to seek that out. The dollar eighty method, you know, you definitely going to want to delegate that because if you're a contractor, you don't have time to sit all day and, you know, go over Instagram and things like that. But that's relatively easy to delegate. You know, of course, I have a done-for-you service where I do that. So, you know, it's one of those things where... If you actually just get somebody else to do it, you're going to get a great return. But again, you're not going to get instant results on that. You're definitely not getting instant results. But you should stick with it. So that's it for today, guys. I'm not going to keep on rambling at you here. Um, I want to make this video too long, so that's it for today. Um, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below. Also, check out my Instagram also down below. And I'll see you with the next video, guys. Until next time. Peace.